Hi guys, my name is Jordan. I'm a freelance filmmaker and video editor, and today we're gonna go over the all new type tool in Premiere Pro. If you're unaware, on April 19th, Adobe rolled out a new update for Premiere Pro that basically revamps the way that you work with text. I like it a lot personally, but it's different and it's thrown a lot of people for a loop, so let's just jump in and let's learn. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that your version of Premiere Pro is up to date. From here, you're gonna notice that there's a new tool available for you to use, and it's in your toolbar. It's called the type tool. This new method allows you to basically work with text right inside of your program monitor instead of the old way with the old text editor. Start by selecting your type tool, either by going to your toolbar and clicking it, or by hitting T. If you don't see your toolbar on the side of your timeline, just go to Window and then Tools. Now either click or click and drag over your program monitor and Premiere will automatically add a text box above your footage. From here you can work like you normally would inside the old text editor. The only difference is that your editing options are now available inside Effect Controls and Essential Graphics. Essential Graphics is another window that was added during this update, and if you want to find it, just same thing, go to Window, Essential Graphics. From here we can control all of the finer details of our text. The font size, the paragraph style, everything. You've got a lot of different options in here, including your fill, stroke, and shadow. These work a little bit differently than before, you need to activate it by hitting the check mark, and then hit the colored box, and then choose your color manually. Now when you're making these changes, you can move your text around, and it's pretty intuitive. If you have your selection tool activated, you just drag and bring it all around your window and it responds immediately. But if you go to the essential graphics window, you're gonna have even more functionality available to you. You've got options like centering, scaling, opacity slider, a lot of different stuff. But here's one of the great new features. You have the option of creating multiple layers of text inside one text box. So with your text clip selected, either make a new box with your cursor or go to graphics, new layer, text and then a second layer will be added to your original text clip. So now you've got one clip and two pieces of independent text inside of it. Click here on which piece of text you want to edit and you can edit it independently. You've also got functions like a visibility toggle and then dragging them up and down will actually make them appear on top or below each other. And now here's a really nice piece that otherwise just might go unnoticed. If you go to your graphics tab and then go to new layer, you have these options for a rectangle and an ellipse. If you click on rectangle, you can see that a colored rectangle will now pop up. Now it might seem like a really strange thing to include, but it's actually really useful for simple visual flares. So for example, you can make a backdrop for your text if you just take it and stretch it out over top of your text and then bring that solid layer to the very bottom so that it's underneath your text. Now you've got a nice little backdrop or maybe you want a quick custom colored underline. The options are endless, so just play around and see what you can make. And now lastly, just a really nice time saver, you can export your text as a motion graphics template. This means if you make a really nice piece of text that you just want to use over and over again in your videos, you can save it and it'll be available to you as it is for every single video. And you'll find it in the browse feature of your essential graphics panel. And now one last quick thing, if after all of this you still want to use the old way of doing text, you still can. The way you do that is by going file, new, and then go to legacy title. From here you can work with text like you originally did before this new update. And guys, that's it. That's pretty much a basic overview of the new type tool inside of Premiere. If you guys found this video helpful, consider giving a like or even subscribing. If you didn't like it, leave me a comment. Let me know what I can do better. But thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.